Illumination of Faith. With each roar, the lion makes a special prayer to Allah. Why lions don't attack women during periods? Due to the supplication of a prophet, a lion is afflicted with fever from birth to death. Dear viewers, the king of the jungle is not afraid of anything, but he is afraid of one thing. What is that? In today's video I will know all the unknown information about lions, what are the lion rules of Islamic Sharia, and if one sees a lion in a dream. So what is his explanation? Also, after Hazrat Isa alayhi salam brought a dead lion back to life. At the end of the video, I will tell you what the lion did to the Prophet of God. I humbly request you to watch this important video till the end. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said Wala, when Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam built a boat by the command of Allah Ta'ala and prepared to board that boat before the flood. Then Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam was carrying one pair of all the animals in that boat. Then all the animals complained, O Prophet of Allah, every animal in the forest is afraid of someone, but the lion is not afraid of anyone. How can we live in peace and safety in such a boat? where we have the Lion King of the forest in the same boat with us. Then, by the will of Allah Ta'ala, the lion became infected with fever. This is the first case of fever in any animal on earth. Since that day, the lion is physically always suffering from fever. Then, Hazrat Nu alayhi salam, along with the rest of the animals, complained about the origin of rats. They said rats were spoiling all our food. Then the sick lion gave a yawn at the command of Allah. And Allah Rabbul Alameen created the cat through a special process from the yawn of the lion's nose and suppress all the mischievous mice inside the boat of Nuh alayhi salam. Lion is called Asad in Arabic and the lion is called the king of the jungle because the lion has six important qualities which cannot be found in any animal on earth at the same time except humans. Its number one is strength, two is bravery, three is aggressiveness, four is fearlessness, five is quickness, and six is effective offensive attitude. At the same time, these characteristics are not seen in any other animal. It is for this reason that Hazrat Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the uncle of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was given the title of Asadullah, the Lion of Allah. Zoologist Iamon says the lion endures hunger like no other animal on earth. Also, there are some elite full activities in Leo that will surprise you. Lions do not eat more food than any other animal. Even after filling one's stomach, the excess food is left for other predators. And the food which the lion gives to other animals once, he does not eat again. It doesn't even check if it's there again. Scientists say that lions are patient when hungry and rarely feel the need for water. That is, they get very little thirst. When the lion is hungry, it becomes very angry. But when the lion's stomach is full, the lion is very calm. Even when a victim walks past, he doesn't even look up. A lion never drinks the water a dog eats. Lions do not chew their prey with their teeth. It eats pieces with its front teeth. This is done only by lions in the universe. There is only one place where a lion lacks courage. If a lion ever hears the crowing of a rooster, the lion gets very scared. Besides, the lion was surprised to see the fire. A lion's jaws are the strongest jaws in the world. A lion has no affection for any animal. The lion does not consider any other animal as worthy. That animal can retaliate against any attack of the lion. If a lion's skin is left in something, then the hair gradually falls from the skin. A lion cannot approach a woman during a period even if he tries a hundred times. The reason given by the researchers is that lions are febrile and should not go near sick menstruating women. But Allah knows its secret well. Lions are showing signs of aging. When a lion grows old, its teeth fall out one by one. An incident has been narrated from Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar. He writes that once to inquire about the people of a locality, he entered by the side of the road. He asked them if any danger befell you. Then they replied, There is a lion in a road in our area. The lion is terrorizing the people on our road. Hearing this, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar got down from his vehicle and went to the lion. He grabbed the lion's ears and led him out of the way. 
And Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said to Singh, The Messenger of Allah, may God bless him and grant him peace, was right about you, that is, because people fear Gairullah besides Allah, God has put such a fear of lions into people's hearts. If the children of Adam, people do not fear anyone except Allah Ta'ala, then he would not rely on anyone except Allah Ta'ala in any matter. It is narrated in the Sunan on the authority of Abu Dawood Abdul Rahman bin Adam. If the children of Adam had put their full trust in the strength and power of Allah Ta'ala, and they would not have relied on anyone but Allah Ta'ala in every danger. Narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Messenger of Allah, may God bless him and grant him peace, said before the day of resurrection, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam will descend to the earth in such a state that if you look at him, you will see that water is falling from his hair, although there will be no water on his head or his hair will not be wet. He will kill the shirk doctrine. Then there will be abundance of wealth among his followers. Justice and justice will be established in such a way that the lion will be with the cow will drink water from. But no one will attack anyone and at the same time drink water, but no one will have any fear. Even small children will play with snakes. No one shall harm one another in any way. In such a condition, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam will live up to 40 years. Then he will die. After that, Muslims will arrange the funeral and burial of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. It is known from a favorite audience. Hazrat Safina radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the slave of the Messenger of Allah. He once took a sea tour on a boat. Suddenly the boat was broken by the sea waves. He sat on a broken log. The man floated to the shore. That was the territory of the lions. He suddenly saw a lion staring at him. He then looked at the lion and said, I am Safina from the Ummah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At this moment I have lost my way. Hearing this, the lion shook his head and started pointing. Even the lion guided the Ummah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, to the right path. Then the lion started roaring, and the Ummah of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, understood. The lion now asks for permission to return to their destination after having put him on the right track. Dear audience, we can learn from this incident that the person who fully trusts in Allah, Allah Rabbul Alameen removed the fear of all creation from his heart. Only fear of Allah resides in his heart. Fear of creation cannot reside in his heart. Her Alama Iqbal said, If you carry the fear of Allah and the ideals of Muhammad, then everything in this world will be yours. Remember that this universe is very insignificant. The whole creation belongs to Allah alone. Let us know now if you ever fall in front of a lion on the way. Then you recite a special prayer. You will be saved from the attack of the lion. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu said to Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, There is a possibility of lion attack. The dua is Awju bin Daniali wa bil Zabi min Sharil Asad. Then you should recite this dua. Allah Ta'ala will protect you from the attack of lions by reciting the dua. Hekayat Rumi narrates an incident in his book. Once a man was traveling with Jesus. The man then thought that he should make proper use of this opportunity. In this opportunity, the Prophet of God wants to learn from Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, by which stone can be turned into gold and the dead can be raised to life. What you think is what you do. This man said to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, Isa taught me the trick to make my world successful. I mean you teach me the trick to turn a stone into gold when you touch it. Teach me the trick to raise the dead. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam heard his words and realized that this person's brain was sick or dead. The greed of the world has driven him mad. He only thinks about himself. He wants the kingdom of this world. Then Hazrat Isa alayhi salam said, Shut up. It's not your job. To reach this position requires a lot of sacrifice. This power is only achieved when a person spends ages purifying his soul. Imagine if you were the staff of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. And get it, it won't help. Because if you want to work with that stick, you need the hand of Moses. If you take the stick of Moses' hand and throw it away, you won't be able to make a snake. That man said to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, If you don't want to teach me the science, then don't. No problem. If you're not worthy enough to grant my request, show me a living monster. I don't think you can do that either. 
the man continued to insult Hazrat Isa alayhi salam by saying these things. Hazrat Isa Asas became silent. Then they saw some bones lying inside a hole. Then the man said, to see if you can give life to its bones. Then I understand that you still have power. Isa, peace be upon him, recited the prayer taught by Allah. Finally, in front of the eyes, the hairs came together and turned into a terrible lion. The lion roared loudly and then leapt out of the den and pounced on this man and in the twinkling of an eye, the lion killed that man. Hazrat Isa alayhi salam then asked the lion, Why did you do that? The lion then replied, Forgive me, O Messenger of Allah, I didn't do anything without Allah's command. This person is causing you pain. His heart was greedy for the world. Allah gave me life only because his death was written in my hand. Then Hazrat Isa, peace be upon him, asked, Then why did you not eat his flesh or drink his blood? The lion then replied, O Isa alayhi salam, the first time I died in this world, all the sustenances of the world became haram for me. Only this man's death was written in my destiny, so there is no chance of drinking his blood or flesh from here except his death. I don't have... Dear Muslim brothers and sisters, what we learn from the story is that foolish people bring danger to themselves by their foolishness and unseemly actions. Also, what we have come to know is that animals do not tolerate rudeness with prophets. Now think for yourselves what will happen to those in the present age who insult Muhammad with the Qur'an sent down from Allah. On Thursday, I will tell you about the medicinal properties of lion. Zoologists say that if crocodiles hear the roar of a lion, the crocodiles will suffocate. And if a person ties a piece of lion skin with hair to a thread and hangs it around his neck, so if he has convulsions at an early age, it will be cured. If the disease occurs after adulthood, there is no benefit. If a lion's hair is burnt in a place and the smoke is spread, all the animals will flee from that place because of its smell. If a piece of lion skin is kept in a closet of clothes, then those clothes are not attacked by any kind of insects and spiders. And if lion dung is dried, mixed with something, any person addicted to alcohol can be fed. Then that person will never want to drink alcohol again in his life. The addiction of alcohol will go away from his heart. Dear viewers, let's find out what it means if a person sees a lion in a dream. A lion in a friend's dream is sometimes seen as extremely cruel and tyrannical, sometimes as a symbol of extreme bravery and valor, sometimes seen as extremely powerful, sometimes as a formidable enemy. Sometimes pregnant women see a lion in a dream, the interpretation of which is that they will have a brave child. Lion is the most dangerous of all animals. Neither friend nor foe is safe from the lion. Lions usually portend death in dreams. Lions kill people and if one sees such a scene in a dream, that is, if the lion is killing people, then it is news of death. But sometimes in the case of a sick person, seeing a lion in a dream portends good news of recovery and illness. <coughs> Friends, we will now know what the roaring lion wants from Allah. Muhammad said when a lion roars, it makes a special supplication to Allah Ta'ala. The lion prays, O oh Allah, do not impose me on any good and good people, that is, I should not convert any virtuous person into my future food.